time for a little summer refreshment served up by Califasane. I'm sitting here in one of the biggest breweries on the East Coast, right? Yep. We're a top 20 craft brewer by size in the country out of over 9,000 craft breweries. But there's one thing you won't find in all these cases of craft beer, alcohol. It's one of the biggest oxymorons out there. Great tasting non-alcoholic beer. Bill Schufeld and John Walker founded Athletic Brewing in Connecticut in 2017. Sales hit $37 million in 2021 and topped $60 million last year. John said, we're not launching commercially if this isn't indistinguishable, award-winning craft beer. Since 2016, non-alcoholic beer sales have increased more than 70%. 80% of our customers drink alcohol at other times during the week. Is this pretty similar to what a full alcohol brewery would be doing? 100%, all the same. What we do is traditional brewing through and through. We tweak a degree here, a degree there, but we wind up at a fully fermented product that is under 0.5%. This is not bad. Eric Asimov is the chief wine critic at the New York Times. We asked him to taste some of the latest non-alcoholic beverages, including an athletic beer. It's super hoppy. There's a lot of flavor in there. I thought you might hate this. No, I quite like it. Have you noticed in the last five or 10 years that there are more and better non-alcoholic drinks on the menu? Oh, absolutely. No good cocktail list nowadays is complete without uh, at least a few selections. Do you think there's more room to grow? It's going to increase. Dry Januarys are a big thing. Thing that's been extended to October. I'm worried it's going to take over the whole calendar. Uh, <laughs> With some people, it is. You have people thinking intently about their, their health and deciding maybe that alcohol consumption is not a great thing. We're going to do some day drinking without the booze. Cameron Winkleman is head bartender at Manhattan in New York City. One of the country's foremost wine experts. Are you feeling skeptical? A little bit, yes. This is Pinot Noir that's been de-alcoholized and carbonated. If you were to drink a good sparkling wine that's made naturally, the bubbles would be cascading all over the mouth. And this feels more like a soft drink. That's if you compare it to wine. If we're comparing it to other non-alcoholic wines, I think this is a really good effort. It's not overwhelmingly sweet. Alcohol is part of the natural process of making wine. Yeast transforms the sugar in the grape juice into alcohol and carbon dioxide. If you don't have alcohol, you're putting together parts that don't really have a unifying element. Asimov says some of his favorite non-alcoholic drinks are the ones that don't try to imitate wine. This is actually a gooseberry ferment. Wow. It's almost very floral. Mm -hmm. I really like that. He also liked some of the alcohol-free cocktails. A Mass Riverine seed lip that's been infused with mango, grapefruit, yuzu, and coconut water, and topped with the mango matcha meringue. Oh my, that is delicious. So concentrated and yet light and refreshing. The growth in this market seems to be as an add-on, right? Not, I'm going to give up cocktails and only drink mocktails. It's like, I don't want to have four cocktails, but maybe I could do two and two. That's as I understand it. I, <laughs> it's not my personal experience, I confess. What's your personal experience? I just drink less. But that's not really the American way. The American way is let me figure out a way to consume even more. If I don't want um, an alcoholic beverage, my tendency, except for, for a cocktail, is to drink water. Water? Yeah. Now I've heard everything. I love water. 